How much do you factor in the team behind it? Or is it all about the product that you can use from it? Which, how do you balance the two when deciding, okay, I'm going to invest here? I've had most of the teams on, you know, my pod over the last two years or so at this point. So I like knowing the team. I would say though, and, and if I don't know the team, sometimes I get to know the team from novelty search because they are usually ahead of the curve on having those guys on and they've been doing really good every week of bringing on a new team. So that's great because I like to hear the people. I like to hear the subnet owners speak and the developers talk and I can gauge then how, how interested they are in it. If there's passion behind it, if they're, if I think they're doing it for a buck, how well they understand their incentive mechanism, how well they can explain the value proposition of their own subnet and you start to get a better idea for like how these guys are actually thinking about their position in BitTensor and that's how I like to invest like as a whole as someone who's buying and holding I want to put my tau into a project that is going to be here in a year and a half you know and there's a handful of teams that you for sure know are going to be here and most of those are now you know top 10 projects but there's also some very you know steady teams that have been in the ecosystem now for over a year with their subnets who aren't in the top 10 or some of them aren't even in the top 20 and those are kind of reliable bets who i expect over time will figure out how to position themselves in this new environment you know how do you judge who's going to be here for the long term or who you think will be here for the long term? Because you get to know a lot of these people personally. What do you look for or qualities you see in these people? I look for someone who like bleeds Tau, you know, and bleeds bit tensor. Like um, the obvious teams that you can see that do that just by the, the videos that they and the podcast they do that they put out are of course like, you know, the, the Rayon guys, the Targon, the uh, macro cosmos, you know, and I look for teams that that are also developing additional products in the ecosystem, like for example, TensorPlex, which you know has has things beyond just Dojo that they're involved in. Um, and so when I see teams getting involved in also real life, uh, you know, things, they're showing up. Uh, at these events, they're getting on stage, the subnet owner is speaking, they're doxxed, they're putting their name and their reputation on the line behind uh, their subnets. That's the other thing that I look for is like, who's at the event, who's going to be running the hackathons coming up at Endgame, who's throwing out 10K of their own dime to try and incentivize developers to come in and create something novel with their subnet. And those are the teams that I look for for long-term investment.